check one, two, one, two. Hey, can everybody hear me? Can you see me? Can you hear me? This is my first time going live. Uh, so if you're watching this on the broadcast, make sure you comment below. Uh, let me know where you're from. Uh, let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me. Uh, I'm looking at the chat now. I see a couple of you are on already. Hey, from Brazil, I see you guys tuning in. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Save you's about to dip. No, just, this is my first time going live, so I'm just making sure everything is okay. Uh, making sure you guys can hear my voice, making sure you guys can hear my bass. Give me a thumbs up if you can. Cincinnati, Ohio, what's going on? Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? All good here. Somebody says I'm from Paris. Somebody says from Detroit, Michigan. Somebody says awesome from Jamaica. Somebody says, wow. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Hey, what's going on? From Canada. What's going on, everybody? So if you can hear me OK, you can hear my bass OK, so we can get started. I can turn it up even more, actually. Yeah, I figured I'd do something a little different today. Trying to transcribe one of my good friends, uh, good IG buddies, actually. Um, he actually challenged me to learn this, <laughs> to learn this crazy, crazy bass line. Uh, well, it really isn't a bass line. He was actually playing the piano. And it was a tune in 7-8 that he created. Um, you can hear, we can hear you all right. All right, great. Great, great, great. Somebody said, love your lessons. Um, okay, cool. You can hear me all right. There you go from Nigeria. It's perfect. Okay, great, great, great. You know, I'm actually going to turn up the sound really quick. Turn up the mic. There you go. All right. So that should be okay. All right. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys my friend. His name is Andre Sims. So Andre Sims is an awesome, awesome, awesome piano uh, pianist. Uh, if you don't know who he is, his tag name, I should have wrote it here, is Andre, I think it's Andre Sims Piano. It's actually pretty easy to remember. <clears throat> so this guy asked me to play along to a bass line that he was playing. Well, I, I guess I got to show you guys. It's just, it's pretty crazy. So I wanted to challenge myself and try to learn this bass line uh, live. I really haven't sat down with it. I listened to it. But I really haven't sat down with it. And when you hear it, you know exactly why <laughs> it's going to be a challenge. All right. So let me play it for you guys now. Let me turn it up. <laughs> so I'm like, how do you possibly expect me <laughs> to play the bass on top of that? I mean, the guy is an animal, an alien, first of all. So <laughs> I wanted to try to challenge myself. I wanted to do it. I wanted you guys to see the process of me learning this bass line. <clears throat> trying to play it up to speed but maybe not that i mean it's just way it's just way crazy too fast but i thought it would be fun for you guys to watch me do this so bear with me <laughs> so i'm going to be playing it back and forth i'm going to show you the transcribing process what i like to do is sometimes when i'm transcribing a bass line or anything else i like to transcribe sax players and piano players all the time um some of my favorites were to to do um, John Coltrane and some Art Tatum type of lines and Oscar Peterson, Oscar Peterson type of lines. Um, but what I want to do is I like to listen to it first. OK, people ask me, always ask me, how do you play by ear? How do you develop your ear? I like to learn things like this without the software, without the technology, without 
uh, you know, the, the aid of something slowing it down. So that's the first way that I like to challenge myself. So I, I don't like to slow it down at all. I like to see if I can get it in real time. And if you guys can see, I'll play it again for you. If you guys can see exactly how fast that was going, just the first couple of seconds he's doing his left, his left hand is doing that bass line. So I'll show you guys again. And I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about the way that he went into soloing on top of a 7-8 groove while he's playing this crazy bass line, which is, I mean, you have to have two totally different brains to do that. So what I did was I listened to that first part over and over again. Whatever, how it goes, whatever. Okay. So the first thing I like to do, I like to hear exactly what key it's in. So it sounds like he's playing... Sounds like he's playing in a C, like a minor type of, like he's playing in a minor type of a sense uh, of, a, of a bass line first. So we got that out the way, okay? So he's doing it in C. So it sounds like his downbeat is C as well. And because this is a 7-8 tune, his downbeat sounds like it's right on that one. The C sounds like it's right on the one. Let's listen to it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. See what I'm saying? Now it's tough. It's tough to follow this if you if it's, there's not a drum, a beat, or you know, a drum or anything like that. But I used to do this all the time. I still do. Um, I'm known a lot on Instagram as the you know the guy that takes people's solos or try to solo over them, over them, or try to duplicate the solos. But uh, <laughs> this is what I like to do. So I'm hearing it, and I have to listen to it second by second just because it's going that fast. Okay, so it sounds like the first... Sounds like an octave. Not sure. Let me let me go back again. And the thing that I like to do too, I know you guys are watching my my process, but that's fine. I want you guys to see everything. Um, so what I like to do, I like to sing it back to myself, play it a couple seconds, sing it, try to sing it back to myself. I mean, and this is where that pitch really comes in handy. Um, actually being, being able to play by ear or developing your vocal range, I guess you can say. Um, so I'm trying to listen to those intricate pitches, um, uh, cause they're very, they're very minute, like they're half step movements. Yeah, it's quick. This guy is it's amazing. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you listen to it over and over again, you'll start dissecting those notes. So I'm, I'm playing three, one note at a time, two notes at a time, three notes at a time. So I got the first six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we got to figure out where he goes from there. All right. Let me take some time and answer you guys' questions if you have any. I know this thing is going like crazy. I just haven't <laughs> been able to see it. Uh, yeah, somebody said this guy is an alien. Yeah, <laughs> he's amazing. He is amazing. Uh, hey, Derek Charles from Virginia, what's going on? Uh, yeah, the guy's speed is amazing. Um, you, my boy, Jay, uh, Reigns, Kenny Diggs, Snoop, Blaze, Gospel Child. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. That was a lot of fun. Those guys are amazing. How are you going to play bass on that? <laughs> yeah, that was my question too. So eventually I probably will add something to this, but I wanted you guys to see me figuring this bass line out because I want to double it up and try to figure out, you know, a creative way I can, you know, manipulate or move around that, right? So, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Any other questions? Any other questions? Keep going. Um, yeah, that's fire. When will you do... A video on your base life story 
That's actually a good idea of a video. Of a video. That'll be pretty long. Yeah. Um, yeah, Andre is ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. Great to have you live. Yeah, this is my first time live, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, yeah, there's 70 of you guys watching. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I know I put a notice up on Instagram to guys for you guys to come on um, and uh, check out this live stream. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that button. You can do it right now or visit the website DerekBennett.com. That's the Online Bass Nation Academy uh, for learning how to play bass. But anyway, I'll do a lot more of these live streams. But let's finish this. Um, yeah, let's finish this bass line. I mean, I'm probably never going to get it done. This is amazing. Uh, I would apply that to gospel. I need, I'm new to bass. Uh, awesome. Uh, it's amazing how it sounds hard to use, figure it out. Um, yeah, it's amazing how, how sounds hard until you figure it out. Yeah. James, uh, Jones, that's, is, that's exactly true. So a lot of people are, um, discouraged when they hear something like this, but what I like to do is just take my time is you never know if you can play something unless you sit down and take the time to actually try to learn it because the more and more you listen to it, the more and more it gets easier to actually digest and actually internalize and remember these groups of notes. And, uh, someone asked me a question when I was at NAMM, uh, last week, and this is, uh, February now, uh, if you're watching this on a rebroadcast, but question I got asked a lot was how do you go about transcribing something? How do you go about learning something that's just ridiculously fast? And I always say, don't worry about it. Take, take it piece by piece, note by note. Uh, if it takes you one week to learn five of the notes, so what? The experience, the practice will help you learn faster and faster and faster. That's the only way you're going to get great at it. That's the only way you'll be able to practice it is if you do it. The experience alone will help you that much. All right. So, All right, so someone said, "Goes go guys, go buy the Squire Jaguar." Yeah, you know what? I got I get a lot of uh, <laughs> I get a lot of mixed comments about the Squire this Jaguar that I'm playing, uh, even though that I, even though I have some amazing bases back here. First of all, I have this four string back here. I, I mean, no, this way. Yeah, this this way. <laughs> the camera is messing me up. But I have this four string here that I don't I don't use the teach with only because it doesn't have fret markers. Okay, so I don't usually use that to teach a lot. Um, this Squire is just a nice, easy bass to, to teach, especially for beginners. Uh, people ask me what kind of bass you should go get. Uh, the link is down in the description. If you're interested, they're good basses, they're decent basses. Um, if you're just starting off, uh, I'm showing you that you don't have to have the greatest bass uh, to play and to learn how to play or to sound decent. Okay, so away from that, let's keep going. <laughs> So you know what, right off the right off the bat, I'm getting fifths because I've trained my ear for so long. I'm getting fifths. I'm getting the interval of fifths, and, and they're kind of uh, ascending. Do 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 do. Or you guys hear it? Let me play it one more time. I want you to hear it. It's going do 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 do. do. You hear it? All right, so that gives me a that gives me a clue already of what's going on because I know that interval of a fifth, I know exactly what's being played. All I have to know exactly what note it starts on. So this is just is like a quick crash course. I'll show you guys exactly how to write this stuff down and everything too in a later lesson. But I wanted to do this quickly. I didn't want this live stream to be too long. We're already at 15 minutes. But thank you guys for tuning in and hanging on. Uh, we're gonna learn this. <laughs> we're gonna learn it. Um, and and if you're anything like me, I'm such a perfectionist. And I, I will take all day to learn something. You know, I, I won't leave or I won't, you know, I won't put my bass down until I learn it. So let's keep going. I just got to figure out the timing. The timing is another issue. I mean, this, I mean, I, it just, it still amazes me as, as crazy as this guy is, is, is the fact that he's soloing on top of this. All right. So I'm do, 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 do. All right. So that was my first note. So I have a C, C octave. All right. F, F sharp, B, B flat. Okay. So we got that much. I 
that's the next note. Yep. Yeah, that's the next note. And you see what I mean about singing? I'm not the best singer at all. But I have... Right? Alright, so we got that much. So we got seven notes. Let's keep going. And what I'm doing is when I listen to it, I'm going back to where I left off. I already have the notes that I need. I'm going back to listen to the next note, to that next pickup note that I don't have yet. Okay? Just very slow. I know I'm doing this like, you know, crazy speed, but uh, <laughs> I've, I've had a lot of practice with this, <laughs> so I think I can do that. All right. Um, do, 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 And also be sure to count when you're when you're transcribing something like this. Da, ah. Da, 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 da. He's doing some type of chromatic walk up. I just gotta figure out what note he's starting on. Da, 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 da. Sounds like a G da. da yep. Ja, da, 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 da. I think. Let's do it. Da, 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 da. I think that's it. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna ask him for the actual notes just to make sure I'm correct. <laughs> All right, because I don't want to learn it and play it completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo, jeez. <laughs> I don't know how you expect me to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, th and then at the end of that was those chr that chromatic walk up with fifths, right? Right? Let's make sure we got it. Oh. I think my fingers are going to be broken by the time I'm finished with this. And they're cold. I'm just freezing. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Yeah, it's worse playing with cold fingers too. Um, but anyway, all right, so let's figure it out. Let's take some time, let's answer, answer some questions. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> I'm reading one question already, I'm laughing. Um, hello from Brazil, Jezreel. I wanna, I wanna make sure I'm saying that right. Matt Kano, this is a PH class in bass transcription. Uh, hey, Terrell McCall, do you, Still do private lessons. Yes, I do. They're only open on Mondays. Um, all of the all the slots are filled, but some of them open up from time to time. Um, so I only open up one day for that. Um, yo, that would murder a shout break. <laughs> I don't see anybody doing that. Um, watching from Kenya, Eugene. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for tuning in. This is just motivating me. I never thought going through this process was for beginners. Thanks for the motivation, man. No problem. I mean, this is, I mean, not only just this song, I mean, obviously the song is, or, or this uh, piece is very difficult, but you can do this with anything. You can do this with a song. This is my song learning process. I start it, you know, I play it. I figure out what notes are being played, the chord changes, things like that. Thanks for being here though. Jeffrey. Um, oh, fifths. Yeah. Fifth. Uh, Derek. Would you recommend? Would you recommend when transcribing to focus on the piece at its original tempo? Yeah, in the beginning, if you're just now joining in, I was talking about you know um, going at this piece with the original tempo. You know, I don't like to use any aid of anything to slow it down first. I mean, just, if I have to, if I just completely have to, if it's just crazy fast, insanely fast, then maybe I will. But I like to. This, this trains your ear a lot better. Just hearing it at full speed, you know, helps you, helps that process go a little bit quicker. Um, it's just, and it's, it's a challenge. And I love challenging myself. You know, you wouldn't think to play this. You'll hear it. Uh, most people hear like, oh man, that's great. That's crazy. This guy is a cool player. But they don't th never think to play it themselves. You know, some, but sometimes that's my thought process. You know, if I like to hear, if I like something that I hear, I don't care what instrument is playing it. I try to, you know, I try to bring it to my base. I try to play that 
right along with them on my bass, whatever instrument is being played, be it sax, trumpet, saxophone, you know, uh, I already said saxophone, but uh, <laughs> piano keys, organ, doesn't matter, chord changes, you know, nuances, things like that. But anyway, never be discouraged, never be scared to learn something that'll elevate that learning process and uh, just challenge yourself. I tell people that all the time. Um, Okay. Okay. Let me, let me get some more questions before I want to, I want to remember these notes too. So I don't want to, I don't want to take away too much time. Um, uh, yeah, like, and subscribe to the channel. Of course. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you haven't liked it, I usually give out lessons, uh, release lessons every single Friday. So if you look at the channel, I mean, there's tons and tons of lessons. Um, on top of that, there's an online base nation Academy, uh, Derek Bennett.com where there's so much more. You get a uh, video Q and a, uh, feedback from me you know so it's actually like taking a personal lesson from me but anyway if you guys haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button um that's greatly appreciated really it really is okay what advice can you give on preparing for auditions i don't want to go raid j uh 10 13 i don't want to go too far into that right now i want to finish this uh and I'll, i will keep that in mind and i will put that in another lesson in that note um because that is definitely a good idea because i also had to audition for the school that i got into and that is a scary process and for for uh, lack of time, I would just say stay calm as possible. <laughs> stay calm as possible. Make sure you know your piece uh, that you have to, uh, that you have ready to be you know to be played uh, or audition. Uh, know that like the back of your hand, like like anything else. Practice that. Focus on that. You know it's going to be a sight reading section, depending on what you're doing. Um, but most times, you know, keep your sight reading up to date, and uh, just stay calm. Take it slow. Don't try to go too fast. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll go over that in another, in another lesson. Okay. Yeah, definitely slow it down. Um, Paris Williams, God bless you. You are beast. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in Paris. Um, <laughs> I'm saying, come on. I almost got it. Yeah. I, 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 hopefully I almost got it. Um, hello from Manchester. Uh, oh man, there's a lot of, I can't, um, I can't read all the, all the comments. Okay. Hang on. And, and, uh, Aj Nakia, Nakia, yeah. Thank you for pouring into us. I, no, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. There's, um, this is my first first time going live, so I appreciate you guys for tuning in. This is this is awesome. This is amazing. Um, and like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. A lot of people didn't know I had a YouTube channel. <laughs> I've had it for over a year now. But anyway, I try to help people out, learn the bass, and I'm giving some tips now. Trying to learn this piece. If you're just now tuning in, hello, teacher from Nigeria. What's going on? Uh, next time, learn Flight of the Bumblebee. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll be a good one to learn, too. Uh, um, let me see. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Do, 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 do. Hold on, wait. Let me make sure I got it first. Do, 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 do. So the notes we have so far, we have C, 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 high C, we have F, F sharp, B, B flat, E flat, and then it walks up chromatically from G to A. Right. This is tough, guys. This is this is tough. I'm letting you guys in on some pretty intimate uh, <laughs> sessions. I don't do this all the time. Right? Okay. Okay. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One time. That's still too fast. One, one, two, three. Take it nice and slow. Like I say, at the end of every single lesson, <laughs> take it slow. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. I say that after every single lesson I've done. Um, and I have to say it to myself sometimes. <laughs> so take it slow. Don't try to go too fast, Derek. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Is that right? I think that's right. But you know what? Forget it. Let me do a metronome. That makes sense, right? Everybody should have a metronome. People ask me, what should I use to practice this thing right here? Right. Everybody, there should be an app or metronome app on everybody's thing. I would have it on my computer, but I can't reach it right now. All right. So let's slow it down. Nope. <laughs> That's too fast. 
two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. I know that sounds like an elementary song compared to what he did, but I'm going at the pace that I can go at right now. Okay. So then I can eventually speed it up. Now I have the notes. Okay. So that walk up was B flat F, uh, B F sharp, and then going to C and it starts the starts the process all over again. So that C was that downbeat, you remember? So we had C, high C, F, F sharp, B, B flat, uh, E flat, G, G sharp, A, B flat, F, that's hard to say, um, B, F sharp, and then we're back home. We're back to the top. One. One, see what I'm saying? Okay, so let's try it. Speed it up. <laughs> Is that too slow? <laughs> Give me some time. Give me some time. My hands are freezing too, right? All right. That was pretty good, right? Okay, so let's speed it up. So somebody said 300, this is 200. This is 200. Ah, take your time. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, <laughs> I can breathe now. Okay, so the thing with that is I want to make sure I'm still playing it clean and clear and precise, okay? I won't move up unless I'm playing it clean, okay? So after several times that I have it, I got it clean, then I'll move up and I'll move up. I don't know if I'll get to 300, but <laughs> I can try it. I can try it. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay. You guys can hear my bass okay, right? Okay, so let's try it. That's a, that's 200. Let's do 220. It's not that much faster, but... Twenty. Let's keep going. It's two fifty. See, this is a challenge. I like to challenge. I love to challenge myself. You never know how quick you can play until you challenge yourself. But at the same time, at the same time, still remember to keep it clean and precise, guys. Clean and precise. Okay. Don't move up unless you got it clean. Okay. Everybody, uh, my dog is on my leg, <laughs> so he's actually keeping me warm. Um, anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, Woo! that's tough. I don't even know how fast he was going. Uh, he's probably going faster than this, but <laughs> this is 250. Nope, can't get it. See, I'm trying to get it and I have to slow it down. I hate that I have to, but until I'm comfortable with it, I gotta slow it down. So that's 240. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get up to 300, but I can't I, I can't do it right now. Gotta do it, gotta spend some more time with it. That's bare minimum. That's like <laughs> let's 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 see what BPM he was actually doing it at. Oh, that sounds pretty good. 
But he's, I mean, I mean, he's sped up though. Like he's, like he's, he's speeding though. Like he, I don't, I don't even know. So that sounds about right. That's 270. Okay, I'm gonna try it this last time. <laughs> After this, we're, stream is over, okay? <laughs> if you guys are just now tuning in, I'm trying to uh, transcribe this. Well, I already did. Uh, just transcribe, now I'm trying to get it up to speed. Okay, so I'm just learning or showing you guys the process of learning this thing or trying to transcribe a, a piano line, sax line, doesn't matter, taking it piece by piece, note by note, grouping the notes together and uh, just taking your time with it making, it, making sure your notes are coming out clean and clear and precise. This is like 270. Um, I think he went even faster than that. Let me show, let me play, play it for you guys that just now tuning in. Okay, I get discouraged listening to that over and over again. But just <laughs> the guy is amazing. The guy is, is awesome. I mean, he's doing complete two different two different things, uh, two totally different things at the same time. Like his his brain is 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 split in half. But anyway, um, yeah. So let's attempt this one more time. <laughs> let's attempt this one more time. I don't think so, man. I, I gotta spend some more time with it. Ah! Woo! I gotta spend some more time with it. That's quick. All right, that's that's the close that 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 is the closest I can get, guys. <laughs> that's the closest I can do. Um, somebody said try to play, uh, try to play with it. Uh, okay, yeah. So I'm I'm calling you if my if my uh, fingers break. Okay. Okay, there it is. There it is. I mean, I mean, just alone, the guy's stamina. I mean, I, I, I gotta spend some more time with it, guys. But anyway, I just want to show you the process. I was able to play the first five <laughs> seconds along with him. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys live. Uh, no cuts, no takes, no nothing. All right, show you guys the process of figuring out and transcribing something like this, something crazy like this. But it works with anything. Okay, so let's answer some more questions, and um, we're going to be out of here. Um, is the dog a bassist too? Yes, he is. <laughs> um, yeah, his tempo, yeah, fluctuates throughout the piece. Yeah, it does. It just, it gets a little bit faster. And I think that's intentional, definitely. Um, somebody say, play with the video. There you go. <laughs> uh, that guy is a beast. Yeah, he's, he's super fast. Oh, somebody said, uh, um, um, uh, Nana, y'all, I'm, I don't want to mix, mess your name up. So he played fifths with his thumb in the index. Yes, I did. Um, yes, I did. I'm like cheating, but not cheating. So when the fifth came up, I played it. I played it with my thumb in index just because it's a lot of movement. It will be a lot of skipping. So I try to play it the easiest way possible so I'm not moving so much because I can play it a different way. I can play the E flat, e flat there. Yeah, I can play it there, but then yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of move. It's a lot of movement. I'll, I'll try to play it with uh, little movement as possible. Yeah, it'll be it'll be tough. It'll be tough to do that uh, quickly. 
So that shift from a whole step is not as bad to me. Yeah, and I didn't even notice I was doing that with thumb and index. But from that, I can do it. It's, it's no problem for me to do it. But just, you know, trying to do it quickly at that speed, I end up kind of, uh, you know, substituting that with my thumb. Okay. But anyway, all right. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Whew. Um, this took a long time. It took too long. <laughs> it's about 40 minutes. Uh, checking in from Louisiana. Thanks for the live stream. Yeah, but clearly a guy isn't human, of course. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Jeffrey. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Tony Brown, so you're playing those fifths with your thumb and index finger on your right hand. Yes, thumb and index on my right hand. I know it's a little unorthodox, but it gets the job done. I didn't realize my bass wasn't in the shot. Why did you guys say something? <laughs> well, just the headstock wasn't in the shot. Okay, so yeah, it's a great. Uh, yeah, I was going ready. To say, I was getting ready to say that James Jones is an awesome exercise. Awesome exercise, especially in seven eight. Like if you get a drum beat, like uh, you know, to play in seven eight, you know, like a uh, like a loop or something like that going. Oh, that's an awesome exercise. Awesome exercise. Andre Sims. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you guys Andre one more time. This is Andre Sims. Go check him out on Instagram. Uh, I think his name is Andre Sims Piano. Yes, it's at Andre Sims Piano. I'll put it in the description after this is done so you guys can check him out. Um, but yeah, Andre Sims is amazing. Go check his other stuff out as well. I'm a crazy alien of a, of a, a pianist. Uh, okay, uh, what's the name? Uh, there you go. Yeah, there. Wilbur Jones. Yeah, Andre Sims. Okay, um, thank you for sharing your experience. Thank you for tuning in. Aramin uh, S. Wilbert. Um, thanks, Wilbert Jones. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, you guys are awesome. <laughs> I know this video is a little bit long. Uh, yeah, it's a crazy workout. Betray you, man, my friend, my brother from another mother. What's up, man? Uh, yeah, this is a crazy workout. So take this. If you're watching the rebroadcast, um, you know, you can fast forward and I'll put some pinpoints and time frames that you can actually figure out this exercise. And if you guys are just now, like I said, if you're just now tuning in, you can watch it. It'll be available pretty soon. It's not that long of a live. It's like, well, it's like 40 minutes. But anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button, like button. Lessons coming out every single week. Uh, there's an online Bass Nation Academy if you're interested in learning even more and getting some personal feedback from me. We have a uh, video Q&A section uh, where you can get personal feedback and uh, we can just go back and forth with all the other members um, that are in the Bass Nation. And uh, we have a lot of more features too. Uh, a lot more lessons, a lot more tutorials, a lot more, uh, you know, just kind of tips, you know, daily tips throughout the day, throughout the week. All right. So, Check it out if you haven't already. The link is all in the description, everything you need. This bass, if you're interested and you're a beginner, awesome bass to grab. Link is in the description. Um, thank you for tuning in, guys. And until next time, I want to thank you again. Uh, this is my first live stream. Thank you for being a part of it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next.